All right, guys and girls, this is Jernigan here. COVID-19 UK's numbers drop. Uh, something uh, by remain high cases or something. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see what this woman has to say in the news. Now let's get some more on the R number down from 1.2 to 1.3. Uh, last week to 0.8 to 1. We can speak to our science correspondent, Thomas Moore, for more on this. Um, Thomas... On the Office figures like show that imminently run numbers in the uh, UK in has dropped between, which down from previous. Mm. Certainly, it's beginning to turn the corner uh, on cases nationally, uh, but it doesn't uh, seem to be the case in all regions, and that will be a concern. And very broadly, uh, the reduction in the R number is consistent with the case numbers that we had from the Office for National Statistics infection survey, a weekly survey, uh, a, a couple of hours back, uh, which also showed a downturn in cases. But it is going to be a problem in, in the northeast and some areas of the southwest too, uh, where both the R number and uh, the number of infections still seems to be increasing. And that will be a concern uh, that uh, lockdown has yet to have an effect. And that may partly be because those regions were not in tier four, as was the case the southeast and, and London, uh, where cases had already begun to level off before lockdown, and that uh, trend has continued. Uh, in in their other regions, uh, they were in, in lower tiers, people were able to mix over Christmas, and we may still be seeing an effect of that. Of course, it is also the case that the new variant of the virus is taking longer to ripple away from the southeast of England, which is where it took hold first, and it's taking longer for it to affect other regions. But it's not good news for hospitals in those regions because they will inevitably see an increasing admissions in the next fortnight or so. Okay, Thomas, thank you. There we, are. there we are, guys and girls, another short video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a like, give it a comment, share your friends, and uh, still very sad news about this virus. See you next one, peace.